Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we are learning about a fish that I have not been able to get footage of in a long time, but I finally got some, and these are the square back antheas. They are a very, very pretty antheas, one of the most prominent color ones you can get. They are very orange and very purple, and they look great under some dim blue lights in your tank. So to get started on these right away, this is a video about antheas and it will help you with other antheas that you take care of because they have a basic care guide on all of them. Each of them have their own little differences, but overall you can learn a lot about antheas in this video. So starting right off, we got prices. These are probably the most expensive antheas I've seen getting them. They will easily be $60 a piece, which can be very expensive whenever you want to get a group of them. You definitely have to save your money up on that part. Tank size, these are also some of the largest antheas I've seen. They get huge, they can get up to eight inches. They're big antheas, especially if you have, think if you had three eight inch long fish running and schooling in your tank. So I would recommend y'all getting at least a hundred gallon. You need, especially like that six feet long, like a 120, will give them plenty of room to swim around and be happy in. Groups of antheas take up a lot of room. They are very active swimmers. Care level, they are moderate. There's a lot of things with antheas that can give people trouble that we'll get into. Temper, they are semi-aggressive. Towards other fish, they normally do not chase them, but towards their own kind, they can be kind of aggressive. You'll see them whenever they've been in a tank for a long time. They might chase each other or nip at their tail. It's just in their nature. So not towards other fish aggressive, but towards their own kind can definitely be aggressive. Reef compatibility, yes, it's where they're at in the wild. So you definitely want to put them in a reef tank. They'll do very well in one, and they also look very pretty in a reef tank. Temperature, you want to keep it about 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, like I said, they can get up to 8 inches. They get huge. This one in the video is at 6 inches already, so they get pretty, pretty big. Colors on them. Now, there is a difference between the males and females. The males, of course, will have that bright, bright orange coloration all down them, and then that real dominant purple square on their back where they get their names from. And then the females look almost completely different. They are a yellow color with a little purple accents on them. Diet, they are a carnivore. This is probably the hardest thing about keeping antheas is they don't eat a lot. They eat a little, a lot of times during the day, which can be really hard for someone that's working all day. They can't feed their fish three times a day. So what I tend to tell people is to get an automatic fish feeder and put it on because the only tanks I've seen antheas do really well in is when they're being fed three times a day, at least two times. So a lot of times whenever I've taken care of them, I'll set my timer on my automatic fish feeder to feed them while I'm not there at work. And then whenever I get home, I feed them again. Origin, they do come from Indonesia or the Fiji area. Compatibility, just ask. They can pretty much go with any fish, any peaceful reef fish they do great with. And then, of course, most people like to keep them in groups because they are a schooling fish. So if you're going to keep a group of them, what you need to try to do is get one male and a bunch of females. So if you got like a 120, you would want to get one male and three females. You need a good bit of a difference or they'll start chasing each other. If you had two males in a group, it can go really bad. You can keep one male on its own, but over time taking care of these, I've really seen them just do a lot better in a group. You want to make sure you have a very dense rock work for them to swimming and hiding through. They do a lot better in that. And in case you do have a much brighter tank because of your reef, they tend to do better in darker tanks, but with a lot of rock and a lot of caves that they can go out and swim in between, it'll really help make up for your tank being so bright. So antheas are a hermaphrodite. So that means whenever, say the male actually ends up passing away, the largest female of the group will actually morph into a male. So at all times, it'll always be a male in the group. It's really cool. I've noticed in reef tanks with a lot of pods constantly being there because they might have a refugium or something like that set up so that they can keep producing pods. 
it basically gives them a food source to constantly chase after. So keeping them alive that way also helps. Since they are carnivore, I would make sure feeding them something very healthy like brine shrimp or frozen mysa shrimp. The little cubes will do really good for them. And then make sure whenever you're in your automatic feeder, have some really good quality pellets or flakes for them to eat. I think I've hit on just about everything to take care of these antheas. If y'all have any more questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. But like I said, there's a couple key things to keep them taking care of antheas. The main one is feeding them. You have to feed them small portions a lot of times during the day to keep them happy. A lot of times with people who just feed once a day, they normally don't last. It doesn't work out for them. Also, make sure that you either get a group of them and make sure there's only a male and then a lot of females and they'll do a lot better and there won't be so much aggression going on. And then, of course, they tend to do better in a more dim lit tank. But if you have a really bright tank, just make sure you have a really nice rock structure for them to run around in and swim in and be happy. But other than that, I think that hits on everything you need to know to take care of an antheas and specifically this squareback antheas. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other playlists of videos and learn more about fish. And I will see you all next week.